Adhai Dvipa. In Jainism, hell has a definite place in the cosmic order, at the bottom. In particular, at the bottom of the cosmic person, or Purusha, that appears in the painting's central panel. This person is, in fact, the entire universe, but depicted as an anthropomorphic figure. Hell occupies this same position in the Buddhist wheel of existence that we just explored, but for a different reason that is at once ethical and physical. In Jainism, karma is a material substance that accretes to individual living souls, or jiva, the subtle gravity of their combined negative charge pulling the soul downward. Now take a look at the seven pink layers that form a stepped pyramid below the figure's torso. These are the hells. The heavens, perhaps intuitively, appear above the waist. In the right panel, our giant artist details the horrors of each of seven hells. Here, seven sets of tortures chasten the denizens of each realm. The pain starts at the top with bows and arrows, and only gets worse as you go down from there. Sufficient badness even leads to being burned <clears throat> alive, if that's not an oxymoron, and impaled on stakes through the tender regions in the bottommost green panel. Now, particles of karma that adhere to the soul are generated in the space twice represented on this painting, in the leftmost panel and in the belly of the figure in the central panel. This is the two and a half continents, or Adhai Dvipa, the human world where all karmically charged action takes place. Far from unimportant, action or karma in the human realm is precisely what determines the nature of one's subsequent post-mortem experience.